Hey everybody. So as part of an experiment, I installed Android x86 on this HP laptop. This is a pretty basic end HP laptop from around 2015, 2016 roughly. It has an Intel Sauron uh, system on chip of some kind. I think it's got either 4 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM. I put a SOS 8 drive in it, but let's just say that this thing runs the, the performance of Windows 10 22H2 on this thing is pretty mediocre and of course this machine definitely doesn't meet the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements for Windows 11 of course that's my nickname for the Windows 11 System Requirements and I figured okay I'll set this machine up to um, have Android x86 that way I can use it to monitor my security cameras well ultimately I did find out a different solution for that but let's go ahead and start this up and have a look so I've already installed Android x86 on this machine in case you're interested in the process of how that is installed I have a video from about five or six years ago of me installing and testing Android x86 on a netbook you can see it's Android x86 9.0 R2 and as you may be able to tell that this is based on Linux so you'll see in a moment why I ultimately decide not to use this machine as my um, security camera rig if you want to call it that so here we are at the lock screen and let's just say that there are a pretty fair number of bugs in Android x86 like for example you may have just noticed the Wi-Fi symbol has gone missing so let's try to get in this thing and you can also see how the lock screen appears to be crashing over and over and over again And let's just say that this is actually designed for touch. Alright. So here we are logged into the thing. And you notice, you may see the Wi Fi symbol is uh, grayed out, meaning the Wi Fi is not connected. Now, if I try to turn it on, we'll see if it stays on. Now I should note that I had to, well, last time I had to go into command line or the, the Linux terminal and put in some commands to force the Wi-Fi to reconnect, but let's see if it actually connects. It's probably not going to. You can see it's not connecting. So there's just so many bugs in this. Um, and I think I had a similar experience with Android x86 previously when I tested it out on the netbook. So to get around the Wi-Fi issue we have to first go into console by pressing control F1 and we'll type in IF config and you can see that our internet is or our network is disconnected so now I typed in I, um, I have config WLAN 0 up and now you can see that WLAN is connected so now I press control alt F7 to get out of the console and back to the GUI and you can see now we are on Wi-Fi but apparently this is something that for some reason it has to be done every time we reboot this machine um, when I first set this up I was able to select the Wi-Fi network and everything worked fine for a while till it disconnected I think it was upon a restart so now we're actually um, connected to the internet because we'll need that for running apps and stuff now this app launcher there's actually two different ones you can choose from in this release of Android x86 from what I can tell this one kind of uh, mirrors the look of Microsoft Windows and for example going to Chrome this is actually my first time setting this one up 
And just for example, we'll do a little bit of internet browsing with it. And you can see it defaults to the mobile uh, version of internet site. So we'll just go up here into the uh, menu and we'll select desktop site. So now it'll load the desktop web interface. So for example, if we look up the channel, here we are. And you can see, of course, there's my channel. So there you go. Now, is this faster than Windows? I'd say maybe a little bit. But uh, let's go back to the home screen. And let's open up something else. See, for example, I downloaded the uh, app for my security cameras I'm trying to launch it it immediately crashes which that could be just a compatibility issue between the app and this flavor of Android consider it's Android X86 and of course that UI app is just not that great anyway <laughs> let, let me be honest but like for example um, Okay, so for example, let's go to the Play Store. Now, I remember when I was setting this up initially, I was having some issues with the Play Store. This, or I think it's the Play Store was crashing, or something was crashing. For example, you try to maximize something, and this things kind of start going a little, little haywire. It's probably not gonna do, probably not gonna do it since I'm since I'm filming but like we're just trying to get that to maximize okay now we finally got maximized so I mean it's I'm gonna say it's a little buggy um, and of course I, I, I think there is some room for improvement um, like for example if we shut this down let's restart it actually I apologize that this is not the most entertaining video but I did want to get you a little bit of exposure to Android x86 on this machine before I wipe it and put something else on there Now I should note that screen you just seen, the console, um, if you try to install Android x86 and let's say VMware, uh, I was getting stuck at that for a while. So for example, let's look at the Wi-Fi symbol up here. It shows we're not connected, now we're connected. Now let's go ahead and sign into this thing. It's like, will the Wi-Fi remain connected? We shall see. I don't know if you can see off camera, I'm actually having to hold down the left mouse button to keep this main, keep this uh, sign-in screen here. And you can see, just <laughs> it's just a little, yeah. Um, okay, while well, we back at the lock screen again, and the Wi-Fi just dropped out. So you can kind of see where I'm getting at a little bit now. Um, in this video, I'm just going to keep my hands off of the mouse and off the keyboard and just watch what it does. <laughs> yeah, it just it just loops through this whole lock screen. As you had seen, or maybe I've seen the internet disconnected. So, didn't have to dig too deep to determine that Maybe Android x86 is not the best thing to install if you're wanting a seamless experience. Now, this is not this is not putting down an Android x86. I understand it's a ongoing project, but whew, just watch it. 
It just keeps uh, looping through this over and over again. Definitely got some bugs to be dealt with. Let's try to sign into it. Okay, we're in now, but of course we don't have internet, so control alt F1 IF config WLAN zero up. And of course, IF config, and we can see that. Uh, It's up now. So control alt F7 to get out. Oh, taskbar is not responding. <laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, yeah. Definitely needs some work. Um, I do think there is a lot of potential here, for especially for computers that are pretty weak like for example the netbook I did in the other video but yeah um, Android x86 I guess like I said it definitely needs some work so anyways I know it's probably the most exciting video but in case you wanted to see Android x86 running on a laptop before you went to um, the process of installing it on your own computer well there you go so anyways hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. Oh, now look. The uh, power button is uh, not doing anything at all anymore. Okay, then we'll just have to hard shut it down.